Hi guys, so today I'm showing y'all a natural lightweight makeup tutorial. This is my go-to routine. I do this look when I need something really fast and easy and I don't feel like wearing a lot of makeup. So before I start this tutorial, I know some people might think this is too many products for a natural look, but in my opinion, you can use as many products as you want as long as you use it lightly. Because I feel like if I were to just put on some concealer, powder, mascara, this would be a very short video and it wouldn't be as entertaining as if I were to use all my products. So I'm gonna show y'all how I use all my products in a more natural way. Because there are days where I just put on some concealer, powder, some mascara, and I'm done. But that, like I said, that would be a very short video, so. Yeah, let's get started. So first I'm gonna moisturize my face and I will be linking below in the description box all the products that I'm using. But first I'm using the Saturday Skin Water Cream. I love this to moisturize my skin. So next I'm going to use primer. I use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. If you've watched my videos before, you know I love this primer. I feel like if you're doing a natural look, finding a good primer and moisturizer is very important. Because you want your skin to look smooth already, so you don't have to apply a lot of makeup. So I like to let my primer set into my skin for like five minutes. So while it does that, I'm gonna do my eyes. And to prime my eyes, I use the Born This Way concealer. And for eyes, if I'm doing a natural look, you can use eyeshadow, but I like to use bronzer. I find that that looks the most natural. Because I can't just put concealer on my eyelids and set them and not put anything else. I have to put an eyeshadow or bronzer or something to give it color. Oh, and I'm just setting my eyes with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. The bronzer that I'm using on my face, I'm going to be using on my eyes. So I used a Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer. So I just take a fluffy brush. I'm using the Morphe E27. So I just take some bronzer and just put it in my crease. I feel like I should zoom y'all in more. <laughs> and you can do this as dark or light as you want. So I just find this makes it look even more natural when your full face is done. And this is really quick and easy to do. You don't have to pull out an eyeshadow palette. All right, so now I'm using foundation. Now you do not have to use foundation if you don't want to. Personally, I like to use foundation because I have a little bit of rosacea. Today's not too bad. Some days it flares up more than others, but I really like how foundations just even out your skin tone and give you that nice glow, which is what this foundation does. I use the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation. I'm in the shade LW2. This foundation feels like you're not even wearing it, so that's why I wear this one. But if you're not a foundation person, you can totally skip this step. But if you don't like full coverage foundations or you don't like wearing foundation because you feel like it's too heavy on the skin, you don't like the feeling of it, I definitely recommend this foundation. Sometimes I'll just wear this foundation, set it, put some mascara on, and I'll leave the house.
But for today's video, I'm not going to do that because that's a very short video. <laughs> But this foundation, it has vitamins and antioxidants for healthy coverage. So it actually does good for your skin. And I'm going to use a little bit of concealer. You do not have to use this if you don't want to. I'm just going to use just a little bit. And for the foundation, you can use a sponge or a brush. Either one will work. I used to use my sponge all the time for that foundation and it worked perfectly fine. So next I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Loose Finishing Powder. This is my favorite finishing powder. I love to set my under eyes with this. So I'm just gonna take my brush and just set my under eyes. And then I'll take a big fluffy brush and just put the rest of that all over my face, just to set it. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm using my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer. And I'm going to bronze my face up. I will always add bronzer to my face. Even if I just put concealer, I still put bronzer on. I feel like it just gives something to your face. It doesn't make it look so flat. All right, so now I'm gonna be adding blush. I'm just gonna be using my Milani blush. It's in T Rose. I'm just gonna lightly put some blush on. And then I'm gonna be using my Ofra highlighter. And I'm gonna be using obviously that shade. <laughs> Even when a natural look, you have to highlight. <laughs> And I'm gonna heat up my eyelash curler. If you wanna add eyebrow gel, I use the e.l.f. eyebrow gel, but usually if I do a natural look, I don't do anything to my eyebrows. So I'm just gonna brush them out. All right, so now I'm gonna curl my lashes. I love how fast this heats up. It does not take long at all. All right, so now I'm gonna apply some mascara. I use the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. I love this mascara and it's so cheap too. And then I'm going to add some inner corner highlight. So I'm just going to use that shade that I used on my cheeks. And 
And then I'm going to highlight my brow bone with that shade. Alright, so the last thing I'm going to do is apply some lipstick. So I'm applying the Wet n Wild Liquid High Shine Lipstick. It's in Caught You Bare Naked, and I'm using the Fenty Beauty Fussy Gloss Balm. I love to mix these two shades together. First, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild one. And now I'm going to use the Fenty one. Alright, so I am finished. This is my go-to natural makeup routine. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!